As more and more of us come to the realization that drinking soft drinks and fruit juices is not good for us, uh, we start out on the quest of, okay, so what do I drink instead? And many of us have settled on some kind of carbonated water, some kind of sparkling water, mineral water, as an alternative for the soft drinks, the sodas, the Coca-Cola, the Pepsi, or for the fruit juice. And I think overall, that's a very, very good change that's going to help improve your long-term health. But there are several questions I've been getting lately. Thus, this video is, are you sure carbonated water is healthy? I heard that it causes this or that or the other. And so I wanted to make this video for you so you understand the health benefits of carbonated water, sparkling water, and any uh, negative health uh, effects that it might have. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about sparkling carbonated water. So the way that sparkling water, carbonated water is made is that we infuse carbon dioxide into the water. And that's what makes those tickly little bubbles that we all love so much. Now, as with any product you buy at the supermarket, you are going to be an ingredient detective. If it comes in a package, you're going to read the ingredients thoroughly. You're going to do an internet search for any words you don't know what they mean because carbonated water manufacturers, like all food product manufacturers, want you to drink lots of their products. So they'll add things like fruit juice and sugar to make it taste better. So be an ingredient detective. What I want to focus on today is just carbonated water, just the actual bubbly water with no additives whatsoever. Things like seltzer, club soda, sparkling water, mineral water, carbonated water. Are there any negative health ramifications from drinking those things? I want to go through five myths that you may have heard about carbonated water and then tell you at the end of this video about one truth that you may or may not need to worry about when it comes to drinking carbonated or sparkling water. So myth number one is that drinking carbonated water causes tooth decay. Now, I've searched the literature thoroughly, and there is literally no evidence in the literature whatsoever that drinking carbonated water will increase your risk of tooth decay. I think this comes from the fact that when you add carbon dioxide to water, you lower the pH of it a little bit. And so your saliva typically has a pH of around 7. Carbonated water typically has a, a, a pH of somewhere between 5.5 and 6.5, so it's a little more acidic, and I think that freaks some people out, but when you actually look at the research on this, it does not in any way increase your risk of tooth decay. Myth number two is that it will worsen your IBS symptoms, and I think this comes from the fact that when you drink carbonated water, it tends to make gas in your stomach, not in your intestines, but in your stomach. We typically burp that gas away. None of that gas makes it to your colon where the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome would uh, manifest themselves. The, the gas from carbonated water doesn't even make it to your small intestine. It's absorbed very quickly through the epithelial lining and is you either burp it out or it's absorbed and it's gone. So also no research supports the a hypothesis that drinking carbonated water will increase your risk of irritable bowel symptoms or worsen your symptoms if you already have that diagnosis. The next is that carbonated water will worsen heartburn. Again, I think this comes because of the slightly acidic nature, but when you keep in mind the absolute physiological fact that your stomach pH is somewhere between 1.5 and 2.5, so it's hundreds, thousands of times more acidic than carbonated water, you can see that, that that's foolishness. There's no way that that's gonna happen. In fact, many people with who still have some heartburn or GERD symptoms will drink carbonated water and let out a huge burp and that actually will relieve their stomach symptoms for a few minutes. So no, it's not gonna make your heartburn worse. Next is that drinking carbonated water will, will, will weaken your bones or lower your bone density. Again, I think this comes from soft drinks absolutely do that. They will they add in phosphoric acid and other things that are harmful to your bones, but just carbonated water doesn't contain these things. And so there's no research at all that supports the hypothesis that drinking carbonated water in any way weakens your bones whatsoever. Uh, the next one is, I don't hear this very often, but I heard a couple of people say, well, I heard that it increases your risk of stomach ulcers. Again, I think that comes from the tiny bit of acidity in carbonated water, but when you remember that your stomach pH is thousands of times more acidic 
than the carbonated water, that obviously becomes silly. There's no way it actually it raises the pH of your stomach when you uh, drink carbonated water. So no, it in no way contributes to gastric ulcers. Now let's talk about the one truth that may or may not matter to your overall health. There is a study in rodents, so rats and mice, not humans, that shows that drinking carbonated water increases uh, ghrelin production. And ghrelin, you may have heard of, it's a hunger hormone. It, it tells your brain you're hungry, you need to eat. Uh, we don't have a study in humans, so we don't know if this same thing occurs in humans, but I would suspect, based on the uh, distribution curve of all human physiology, that there are a few of us that drinking carbonated water might increase our ghrelin a little bit and thus make us feel hungrier before it's time to eat. Uh, a simple experiment of a month with nothing carbonated and then adding carbonated water back into your diet will immediately let you know if you're one of the few people who has a ghrelin elevation from drinking carbonated water. Again, let me emphasize, it's not the carbonated water that's in any way bad for you, it's the added ingredients that the manufacturer might put in your carbonated or sparkling water. Things like sugar and fruit juices and other harmful things that they shouldn't be adding to water. Uh, for instance, club soda's fine, seltzer water's fine. Seltzer water, they add a little sodium, which is in no way bad for human beings. But did you know that tonic water actually has sugar in it? Now it has quinine, so it has a bitter flavor. And for many people, they don't recognize the sweet flavor in tonic water, but it has lots of sugar and will absolutely spike your blood sugar and your insulin level. So I, I avoid tonic water because I know it has added sugar. I hope this video helped answer a question or two for you. If it did, hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on the way out. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.